against the result from, from the presidential election is still on as Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter B of the Labour Party are still in court with allegations of malpractices during the polls. While the presidential election petition tribunal has granted both candidates access to inspect the sensitive materials, including the Beavers machines used for the last election, Einek has urged that the order made be revoked. The officials say there is a possibility of tampering with the materials, and in that case, there might be a need to reconfigure the Beavers. Joining us in the studio is a political analyst, Dalentin Muru. Good morning. Thank Good you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. My pleasure. Now, this matter will be decided later today, but we have also seen the president-elect uh, also going to defend his with uh, about 13 cents, as being reported, because he says he also wants to inspect. The 50 lawyers. All right. Volunteers. Uh, right. <laughs> so the, he also wants to infect, uh, inspect the results. What do you see uh, playing out here as we speak, challenging the results of uh, that election of February the 25th? The beauty of democracy. Mm. That, is, that is what it's all about. The um, Electoral Act of 2022 has amended uh, has also made a, uh, uh, has a proviso which says that if you're not satisfied with mm. uh, the election organization results and all of that, you go to court to seek redress. Mm. Apparently that aspect of, you know, uh, attending to grievances is beyond them. It is uh, a of the judiciary, mm. and that is the election tribunal, um, the court of appeal mm. in this instance. And so both the Labour Party and the PDP had expressed a lot of uh, um, dissatisfaction. And of course, don't forget that INEC had told whoever is dissatisfied to go to court yes. and let the court uh, prove that. And one of the things they have demanded is to ask the court to grant them uh, one of their prayers, which is to enable them to inspect the machine, election, machine. election materials. Mm -hmm. Not just the Beavers machine now. Uh, every of the, both the manual uh, results and the Beavers machine, first machine for the Saturday elections. Yes. And there's also this fear INEC is expressing now that the elections might not hold if some of these things are delayed. Yes. Reconfiguring the Beavers machine is not going to be a this job. We're talking about Beavers machine that were used in the last election that will also be used in the gubernatorial and uh, houses of assembly elections in various states. And so the parties are saying that they wouldn't want that because they, they are, are thinking that Whatever information is there could be altered. Mm. INEC is also not very comfortable with the prayer granted to these political parties by uh, the tribunal, uh, allowing them to uh, access the Beavers machine as well. So it is not that you know, the, okay. the, the, the beauty of all of it is that all of these are a function of democracy. Allow everybody to uh, do what they want to do. At the end of the day, the court is there to... Uh, uh, take charge. Mm. And beyond the other two parties asking to be allowed to inspect these materials, the APC, President elect, yeah. No, APC as a party has also demanded, yes. as, is also going to court now to demand that they should also be allowed to inspect the, mm. these same materials. And so, how do you go about all of this? Mm. The three major political parties, the, the, the two old horses, and then the new force that is just joining, mm. the three of them will at the same time be going to inspect all of these materials. Mm. Mm. And then bearing in mind that these same beavers are supposed to be used for this next election. Uh, that, that is uh, worrying them, or they're trying to create an optics that... Uh, 
that they didn't lose the election? Well, the, the, the challenge here is INEX position, asking the court to uh, defer in its first um, uh, uh, granting this person's the, the, one of their prayers yeah. to inspect, particularly the INEC is particularly talking about the beavers. The beavers, the configuring that, of the fig, yes, beavers. Yes. beavers. That's what I'm asking. Is it are they, is, is it because because it's not a thing that you do in two minutes? No. Mm. And these people, is it uh, is it an act of uh, uh, you know um, ignorance ignorance of technology? Or just because they want to, they want to create uh, some kind of attention so that they will give attention that you know they uh, were probably not well conducted. That they are saying that you no, know, you want to reconfigure the election. You get what I'm saying? Yes. That they want to create the optics of manipulation. That's what I do because because you're supposed to know that the, the, the gap between one election and the other is it's short, is short mm. and that to reconfigure it. Is to reconfigure. It's a, it's a form of it's a, to reconfigure. It's also a form of rigging. Mm. That is, that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly this last line you yes. brought into it. Yes. These are some of the things some of us cannot ordinarily uh, confirm on air mm. because it, it takes um, some of these bodies to defend what whatever their positions are. Of course, don't forget that. Um, um, what we are going through now. Mm. Some of these political parties are not actually interested in the way some of us are seeing it. 5th of February and 11th of March. It's not up to a month. Mm. It's just a matter of weeks. weeks. And then you want to say that by the time you are inspecting all of this, and by the time and INEC want to also do re re reconfiguration of these beavers, the time provided, is it enough? And then the rule, the, uh, the act also states that in 180 days from the days these um, uh, um, applications are done by these political parties, uh, the court must pass written judgment mm. for the presidential election, which means they have barely six months. Mm. And in between these six months, there, is a there's election, there are elections that mm. are supposed to be held. Mm. And then they also are aware, the electoral law is supposed to be aware that political parties who are aggrieved, mm. who always want to say, we want election mm. so that we can also use them as evidences mm. in defending their cases. Mm. That's exactly the same reason why I, APC I, I, I is late. Say that we can't reconfigure now. Mm. Yeah, I, yes. I next say we can't reconfigure. Those people are saying that they don't trust it as it is. So how do you reconfigure within that time? That, that is the challenge. It's a, very, it's a very big challenge. It's mm. a burden that will be difficult for anybody to solve. Do they, Where do we do go they, from do they here? understand the technology that INEC is using? Do are they? you thinking they do not understand it or because they merely are interested in their own interest? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That beyond they know that the, they can create beyond the general interest, they can create, create confusion, the confusion and all of that. Mm. And they want to undermine the result. That we, we, that the way of trying to say we undermine the result that just came out on, 20, uh, on the 25th. So we don't trust the beef. INEC is incapable. So, so if INEC does not, does not uh, reconfigure, they will say, no, we don't trust the result of this election. So that, it's what they call self-fulfilling prophecy. Even if INEC reconfigures, yeah. again, they will also still say that if they, they have to it they, well. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> the things have been tapped out. They said they rigged it. So they yes, they rigged they it. Rigged it against so us. where do we go exactly from here? It's a so, quagmire. So the issue is a matter of trust. It's a matter of trust and a matter of interest. Mm. Some political parties are merely interested. It is, it is some part of the world. If it were in some part of the world, some of these political parties would ordinarily have congratulated the president-elect mm. by now. Mm. Because between now and May, June, what is left? It's already here. What is left? Now, you are allowing the party or the, the president-elect, as declared by INEC, to have enough time or confidence to begin to you know, make preparations for, you know, uh, resuming office. But now, the issue is neither here nor there. Because if the matter is in court, 
It is about how much evidence you have to, you know, convince the court beyond all reasonable doubt. doubt. As the lawyers will say, forgive me, I'm not Substan a lawyer. Substantial, Substantial compliance. <laughs> eh? so that at the end Substantial of the, compliance. Yes, That's what it is. At the end of the day, then the, the other person can, can resume work. Mm. It, 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 we have not had situations aside from June 12, uh, the, uh, um, the June 12 election, yes, where people really have not gone, other op uh, uh, opposition parties have not really gone to court to begin to challenge the result of the umpire. Yeah. In, uh, in, in, 2015, in 2015, it wasn't challenged, was it? In 2015, at a point, Jonathan Jonathan, actually, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan they even called the Buhari. Buhari yeah, even and before and the and final and results yes. were announced. And his party was angry. Yes. Uruba yes. yes. and co. His party, was, his party was not actually do? happy with him. They're yes. not happy with him. That he did, he actually did that congratulatory message. Mm. Yes. You know, he did that congratulatory message. In defiance. Yes, in defiance before, of the announcement. Yeah, before, before the announcement, before before the the announcement, announcement. Before the announcement yes. of uh, Buhari. Yes. yes. So, but since after then, Jonathan suffered a lot of things after that. Mm. His, party, his party hated him. A lot. Even because, now, because... Be he went to congratulate the president elect, and people are all not, not, no, 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 no. He went there not as a party member. No, 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 no. As, as ECOWAS, as a member of, of the ECOWAS. Dele ECOWAS delegation. They can't, they they can't separate it. They can't, they can't separate it. Because, because, they because that's what, that's what they are. They are. You, you, <laughs> that's what they are. They are still angry that angry. this man. Is this, this man who went to say congratulations to Buhari? As also yes, he has gone to congratulate, congratulate another enemy. But <laughs> it, no, no, but he didn't, they didn't just visit the president-elect alone. Yeah. Yeah. They also visited Atiku and uh, Peter. No, 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 they're, they're not seeing that one. They're not seeing that, not seeing that one. <laughs> it's the one that they went to see the Jagaba. Right. That's the one that's giving them a dick. No, but the <laughs> challenge is that Nigeria political arrangement should develop to that point where we begin to see a way of appreciating our, our, our electoral results. Mm. If you're defeated, you wait for another time. If you win, you'll be congratulated. Mm. Right. Okay, but there's so much doubt. Even INEC now is being challenged. Mm. A lot of things are up. Why did this not happen? Why did this not happen? Mm. Some of us have even forgotten that some of these things are, are electronic IT gadgets so, so. that could have its own defects mm. and could also be attacked. Mm. They always say that, uh, that uh, you know, there were glitches. That's why they couldn't load the, yes. the um, materials on the IREP yes. and so on. Some people were saying, why were they so particular? Did not and co. So yes. about loading it there when the law did not say that you should load it there. <laughs> it only said transmit. It didn't yes. say that transmit electronically. It said and the choice of whether to transmit electronically or not, it depends on the discretion of the umpire. It's, umpire. it's there in the yes. electoral act. Yes. But they didn't see that. They're just angry. You have to. So we still need to know when INEC was talking about uh, glitches. Where were the glitches coming from? Who were trying to hack him? Because we have seen arrests. We have been told about arrests of people who were trying to, who were, who were caught with divas illegally. Mm -hmm. we have, we have, those have been were, reported. Were yes. We need yes. to get to the bottom. Who gave them divas? Yeah. What were they doing there? How did they get who, it? How did they get it? What were they doing with it? On election election day, were they trying to load numbers mm -hmm. and so on? I, I, the Aremo said the other day that the INEC needs to come out and tell us the story about the glitches that made them not load it on... Uh, maybe they would do it, maybe they do it Much at later, the tribunal, yeah. at the... Uh, no, definitely of some, of, this, some, yeah, of, some of these facts... To come out. We have to come out, but some of them will also uh, be we will also hear about them at the tribunal. Yes. When INEC will have to defend itself. Yeah. Yes. In 2015, we also had some of these issues where INEC came out to say 
that its uh, server had been attacked, where it was attacked severally. Uh, this same uh, INEC under Mahmoud also said that its server was attacked mm. about over a hundred times. Yes. You know, why is the attack? Who's attacking? Who's why attacking? Don't they, why, don't, why, they, why don't they go and, and, uh, and get their people to vote? Eh? Why do you want to vote? That's the thing. That, that, that is the real electronic transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Attackers always come. There's, there's, um, forgive me, uh, there's also a financial institution now uh -huh. that its uh, server was mm. and several billions were taken away yeah. from that, yeah. that, that institution. Yeah. Yeah. You see, there are IT crooks and mm. criminals mm. who are experts in all of this. Yes. Mm. While um, the presidential election was on, um, social media had the photograph of somebody illegally to state that, to, to, to say that that person was the person recruited by one other political party mm. to arrange the server for INEC. Mm. You see, all of this would definitely come out. In 2015, there was this unconfirmed report that IT experts were imported even from America mm. by one political party, yeah. you know, just to do what? To attack mm. the INEC server where you have to inject false results. So what, what, it means that, what it means is that we are moving from uh, physical rigging to electronic No, definitely. If electronic so we're moving from physical banditry to electronic banditry. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah. rather than snatch uh, ballot, ballot boxes, boxes, you are snatching yeah. numbers. Yes. <laughs> you, are, you are creating numbers. Yes, so because if you vote, if it is 50, to 20, all you need to do is to add zero. zero. You know, they used to add zero in those days, so physically. <laughs> like, That's for uh, cash. Uh, like in Ogun State, where, where the number of people voted was half of the population of Ogun State. They <laughs> <laughs> uh, voted in the election that brought uh, uh, um, uh, Baba, uh, Baba of Democracy, Baba uh, Sonjo, to power in 2003. Uh, uh, I'm sure I was telling us that uh, 1.5 million people voted for Baba. Uh, in, uh, in that election. So those ones were physical numbers. Now, you don't need to even write it. Now, no pen. Ink, ink is going to suffer now. You don't need ink anymore to the, write anything. The, the, All you need to so, do now is just algorithms. Mm. You just, uh, that way, writing it, just putting the number, pa, 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 okay, I, I won. <laughs> All of this didn't start with this election, right. with these uh, 2023 elections. Mm. We have had this differently in all across the elections we have been having in Nigeria. Mm. Now, what INEC tried to do with the use of the Biva was to improve Honestly. on what you just said. You know, trying to beat some of these uh, methodologies, yeah. you know, employed by some political parties to rig uh, elections. And now, the introduction of the Beavers, because it is electronics, also has its own challenges. Mm. Now, I kept telling people, I said the Beavers was built by somebody was the idea about beavers came from somebody. The usage of beavers elsewhere is done by people. You, br you brought in beavers to Nigeria, beavers will be operated by somebody. Mm. And then there are ex I And then we're talking about just INEC. It's starting with beavers for the first time. But I'm sure that as we progress, as INEC progresses, so, as Nigeria, uh, Nigeria's democracy evolves, will continue, INEC will continue to think about improvement. Mm -hmm. Because INEC's because basic or highest challenge at the moment is how to beat rigging. Mm -hmm. That is basically what INEC is fighting now. How do you beat rigging? Where you have, for instance, you want to scroll on IREC, and then just when you are doing that, other figures are coming on. From nowhere. How do you deal with that? How, what, how, how do you do deal with that? that? Then there will be confusion. Mm. Yeah, then you yeah, are yeah, reading. Everybody will say, Man is so, correct. So that's is that's yeah. That even, even they will say, Okay, what of the uh, the physical the sheets? The manual sheets. The manual yeah. sheets. Yes. We'll go back to manual sheets yeah. again. So to that, confirm. that begs the question <laughs> Are we really ready to incorporate the technology in uh, looking at all the challenges we are having now? Well, it's, it's like I, I said uh, earlier on. What INEC needs to do, INEC has seen the hiccups now. But I do not think in any way there's any I I IT arrangement that can be super perfect. Because people are the ones who made them. And the same, this is te about technology. 
We saw what happened in the American uh, election, general elections, uh, in the era of um, uh, your fellow gender uh, a woman. Mm -hmm. What was used to uh, uh, eventually Hillary push Clinton. her out of the yes, push her out of the race. Trump's Trump. the the official image mm -hmm. of the government were pushed into her email yeah. box. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was exactly what one of the things that worked against her. Yeah, and. Uh, some people accused Russia or Russian, some Russian experts yes, of, doing it. of doing that. And so, whatever technology you are bringing into election, election in some part of the world, particularly the, uh, the, the third world countries, is almost about, it's either we do everything to win it or fight the system, mm. create confusion. Otherwise, why would, you, why would we have... Things like this. If you're confident that you have all of it, what it takes to win an election, you go for it. Right. You talk to your people, you talk to your electorates, and then let them come. You see, here, so in most times, you discover that even campaigns are not issue-based. Mm. It's sentiment. Mm. It's about sentiment. And then we are looking for things that we use to damage the image, even after election of the opponents. Mm. Situation rooms of some political parties today are not there to advise their principals on issue based. Tell the people what should be done or what you want to really do for the people. But you begin to look for how to damage it's the war image. Room. Situation room Situ is war room. It has been changed to war room. Where you bring out, you go to dig out facts. You get your facts now. You get your brigadiers, <laughs> you get your, brigadiers your secret service. Your secret service. But whether some your... of these facts are correct or not, at the end of the day, they are allowed to mm. go on. But I think the basic challenge we have, you know, in this part of the world is I do not know the kind of technology we want to borrow. Mm. I do not know about the kind of technology we want to, we want to bring on board. Mm. I do not know about the, the kind of technology we need to steal, you know, to run elections in Nigeria that would not be tampered with at the end of the day. One, that would also be trusted completely right. by the people. The people address, for instance, the fact that, uh, the, when, according to the election, although it's been challenged now that the Lagos, the Lagos numbers have been challenged and some of the things that went on have been challenged now, that when they said that they, uh, they won Lagos, they said it was okay. In fact, in fact, they said they won it more than they won they won. Yes, that's yeah. even when, what challenge when, that challenged that. It's even more. Be better. When uh, because they don't they, they don't have any roots in Casina, they accepted the Casina that uh, Casina yes that uh, I, because because the business didn't even have any play in Casina, so they said so they, they didn't complain mm. that the president lost Casina. They didn't complain that Ayade they did, lost, lost lost uh, he, he, he didn't cross lose river. he didn't lose Cross River, but it's, he lost the Centurion District. Centurion yes. Beach. Uguayi, Lalong, part lost, of the G5. Lalong, mm. did not even deliver, did not even deliver play to. Play to. Yes. They didn't say that. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't no, they are, they are complaining about play to. That the numbers the are much more. The, yes, that what, what the original number was one point something million votes they got. Not the 300 and, or 400 and something votes that was recorded by INEC. It's also there. Yeah, they, they, just, they just want numbers that uh, <laughs> massive numbers. Of course, you see some of these numbers from which, which, from, from which experience state, which over time. Why many people in Ben when are they, are they, are they, are they bigger than Lagos? You know, in Plato, is a number bigger than uh, Kano? You know, in Plato, <laughs> before INEX uh, result, yes, there was this figure that was circulated in the social media. No. That are sometimes, even before elections, you begin to, the day before a, a you know vote are counted, you, know you begin of, to see you know one of, you know one of the reasons, you know one of the reasons, the issues sorry, now. you yeah. know one of the reasons for the anger, about the obedience especially, is that before the election came out, they started cherry picking areas that they were leading. Mm. So they all had the, the, the impression. impression that they were going they to were win winning. the election. In fact, some, some people in social media were saying that, uh, no, somebody said he was going to, to, to uh, send uh, roast corn to some Another person said he's going to deliver it. Eh? Eh? So they were already celebrating. Yes. They were looking eh? at results no, of their place. polling units. Yes, yes. And so on. As against 
The be, results be, from there's beyond the that, Bible beyond that, that, some persons have even posted some results that That's were right. not even from those units. Right. So you create your own illusion and then you believe it. All that right. is you it. Know? says that in the book of we need to wrap he, up. Said, he said when you go to work, you should not wear your uniform as though you are pulling it off in other words don't celebrate as if you have you have, you have, you have won mm. we'll have to leave the conversation here darlington Amoro, political analyst thank you for your time for the program my pleasure yeah